next day, the one after preparation day, the chief priests and the Pharisees went to Pilate. Sir, they said, you remember that while he was still alive, that deceiver said, after three days I will rise again. So, give the order for the tomb to be made secure until the third day. Otherwise, his disciples may come and steal the body and tell the people that he has been raised from the dead. This last deception will be worse than the first. Take a guard, Pilate answered. Go, make the tomb as secure as you know how. So they went and they made the tomb secure by putting a seal on the stone and posting the guard. It has been good to take a wander through the readings this week, wandering and wondering about the Easter story. The wonder of Jesus' willingness to say nothing in the face of his accusers. The wonder of how he would share a meal with the one he knew would betray him, with the ones who would desert him. Today, I'm wondering about the fear of the chief priests and the Pharisees. Jesus is dead, his body is in the tomb, and still they are fearful. Fearful that his disciples will steal the body and perpetrate a story about a resurrected Jesus. I'm wondering about the closed tomb and closed minds. Regimes that ban and persecute Christians to stop them spreading the story of Jesus. A story that they believe to be fabricated, false, yet dangerous. The closed minds of people who are zealous in their attempts to mock and attempt to disprove the truth of the good news that Jesus offers. Their wonderings about the power of this story which they don't even believe to be true. Isn't there something here about the supernatural power in that story? A power that is waiting to break open even the closed hearts of those who refuse to believe. Perhaps those who have yet to believe. As we wait on this Holy Saturday, let us dwell in the wonderment of who Jesus is, of what he has done, what he is doing and will do. And let us wonder at what God might do to break through the unbelieving hearts of men and women. Let us pray. God, for those in places of power whose hearts are hard and close to your love, for those for whom this story seems preposterous and dangerous, we ask that your spirit would work deep within their hearts, preparing them for your revelation of hope, love and mercy. Amen.